good fish. And an acrobat. Ooh, man. <laughs> Look at that. Pretty, pretty fish. Hey guys, this is Gene Jensen. I wanna to talk to you about a little product that I've been using for a couple years and I've been keeping secret because my buddies have been winning tournaments on it and they uh, told me to keep it quiet, but I finally got permission to talk about it. And what this is, it's called the Creeper. It's a little shaky head. Um, oh, it's, it's great, it's really good. I've been, like I said, it's been, I think I've been fishing it for three years, two and a half years and uh just a great bait i want to tell you the details tell you how to fish it because it's just different and it really does it, it catches fish on certain occasions all right let me go ahead and, and apologize to my flute master purists uh this is this is going to sound like a promotional video um really not meant to be it's just one of those this is just one of those baits that um i've kept close to my chest for a long time because I, I got a lot of friends and a lot of friends have been doing really good with this bait and they've asked me not to do a video about it. So, I've, you know, I'm happy that I finally got permission to do it. Well, the, what a creeper is, is basically it's a shaky head. Um, it's got an arky style head, but the, the position that it keeps that crawfish is just kind of cool. It kind of keeps it up just a little bit, not really in a fighting position, but more of an easy meal for a bass. Um, designed to be able to, to drag it really, really slowly on these rocky points, on these hard points. Um, works great from early, early spring all the way through the heat of the summer. Just a great, great jig. And like I said, it, it wins tournaments, local tournaments here. And, uh, and I'm just, I'm delighted to be able to show you guys. Now, the way I fish it, or what I fish it with is I fish it on a medium heavy rod. This is a seven foot, I'd put it on a seven foot three also, uh, but my jig is on that one right now. But, um, and 20 pound test fluorocarbon, you can get, get by with 12 or 15 because it's got a little light wire hook. So a medium heavy rod, um, fluorocarbon line, high speed reel is great because you can get it back to you and get another cast. Uh, but just remember, you're gonna be dragging this thing very, very slow. So you need the sensitivity of a, uh, of a, a fluorocarbon all right so the way you fish it is you let it sink to the bottom of course it's a jig i'm sitting in some rocks right now and you just drag it a little bit you drag i mean it's a slow almost painful way of fishing but dude it catches fish so you drag it drag it just a little bit you come up to a rock or something that you bump and it's, it causes a little bit of resistance and you just shake it a little just shake your rod tip don't shake you know don't do a big shake just a couple of inches with your rod tip go to a slack line and pop it and that just make, gets that stuff to go. It just gets that, the, the claws on that crawl to do this or that worm to shake. Just drag it. Doesn't do so good in the grass, so it's more of a bare bottom, rocky, you know, hard bottom style, you know, style of bait. It's kind of where it works the best. That, that, that jig head just gets caught up in the grass. That's not what it was designed for, so. And then when you get bit, the hook set is a, is a real set. It's got a big jig head, so it's liable to blow that fish's mouth open if you pop it really hard. So you feel a bite, and a lot of times the bites, they pick it up and they come towards you. So you feel the thump, and then it just goes slack. And so you pull up till you feel that fish on that slack line and your rod starts to bend, and then you pull back the rest of the way really hard to get that hook set in. And what that'll do, that'll just barely pop the fish's mouth open with that jig head, and that's, that light wire hook will grab a hold of it. So not a difficult bait to fish. And if you have no confidence in a jig, but have confidence in like a Tick Texas rig or some type of a soft plastic rig, this is a good one to, to, to bridge that gap and get you a little bit more confidence in fishing a full on bass jig. So, and it's such a small bite or small profile bait, especially because I love to use uh, small craw baits. Uh, even the vile craw is a little too big for this for this bait. I just like that I seem seem to catch more fish on smaller profile baits. You can put a well another good way to do it is you can put a, a senko on it, and the way it sits a senko up, man, you can really catch some good fish. Um, but anyway. 
So it's the creeper head. Like I said, it's not meant to be a, a promotional deal. I just wanted to show you. It's from Greenfish Tackle. If you want to look for it, um, if, uh, you know, sometimes it's hard to find. I'll put the Greenfish Tackle link in the bottom in the, in the, uh, in the description, and I'll put a, a Tackle Warehouse link in the description too, because I think Tackle Warehouse carries them. But anyway, well, like I always say, be sure to introduce somebody to fishing. Introduce them to my channel. Let me help you teach them how to fish. More importantly, get out of the water, go out and catch some ha fish, and have a great day. Oh, and subscribe to my channel if you haven't done it. If you haven't done it, you're crazy. Anyway, later.